Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you on a location from the Philippines. It is beautiful. It is tropical. I actually was going to film this on the balcony. I have a, such a beautiful view here, but it's so hot that my camera overheats within minutes. So I'm relegated to the indoors. I should have a vlog up soon of my whole journey here. So stay tuned for that. But if you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting to my Instagram stories a little more instantaneously. So today I wanted to share with you what I ended up actually finally bringing with me to my trip. I've done a couple videos already. One was my travel essentials video. A lot of those were electronics and gadgets and comfort items for like a long haul international flight. My journey here, by the way, was a little over 30 hours from door to door because it was three flights, three different continents, <laughs> very long layovers. My initial flight to Manila was canceled. I had to rebook it. It just was so crazy. This video is very generously sponsored by Nordstrom. Thank you Nordstrom once again for partnering with me on another video. I am a huge fan of Nordstrom. I love shopping there for myself, for my kids, for my husband, for events, for trips. So for this trip, I did do a little shopping. Everything I talk about will be linked in the description below. And some of these items have already gone on sale. So make sure you follow me also on Instagram. Instagram at a heated mess because that is where I will post any last minute deals and steals and sales. And again, I'm on vacation currently right now as I'm filming this. And so that's where I'm posting all my like vacation pictures. So follow me on there. The first item that I packed is a pair of jeans. This by the way is how I pack it in my luggage. I like to roll up my pants and shorts and stuff. I just find that rolling it saves so much more room. It's easier to pack. It's easier to see what you have because they're not stacked on top of each other. So this pair of jeans is from Good American. I have been loving these jeans. I forget what the style name is called. I think they're either mom or boyfriend jeans, but they're cropped. So it's meant to hit at your ankle but for me, they are like the perfect full length pants <laughs> because I'm so short, I'm five feet tall. So if you're petite like me, check out the Good American like cropped jeans because then you don't have to worry about alterations. This I have in the size two or 26 waist. They also kind of run big because I, I think I'm usually a size four in jeans, but I got the two and these are kind of roomy. Like the waist is big, like it gaps on me. So I also like that these are not super frayed. Like they're not holy jeans. So they're perfect for if you're going to kind of address your event or even to church. I, I wear these to church sometimes. So yeah, you know, I, I love distressed denim as much as the next person, but sometimes you just need a pair of jeans that are not super distressed and that have no holes on them. So good American jeans. And then for a dress, your option, I have this black midi dress from Open Edit. I really like Open Edit stuff. They are, I believe it's a house brand of Nordstrom, but they just have such great staples, which is great for vacation because then it's easier to pack. It's easy to mix and match. It's easy to style a lot of their pieces. I picked up a lot of their stuff during last year's anniversary sale because they just have like some great solid colored items that can be super versatile when you are packing for vacation and you want to have a lot of options. So this mini dress is great because the material is very comfortable. It's very smooth. It's a perfect length. The length hits me about mid calf, so it can be dressed up with heels. But because I'm here in the Philippines, I probably will be just wearing flats with this, but you can dress it up or down. You can throw a jacket or a sweater or a denim jacket over this. And then depending on how you accessorize it, I probably would just wear this with simple gold jewelry to dress it up. We do have some events that we're going to like right now. I don't know if you can hear the music. There's a party going on right now. My parents are throwing a big get together. So there is music already blasting. They're getting ready. So I can wear this to a party in the evening or just, you know, during the day you're running errands. This dress I think has started to sell out. I've seen it come in and out of stock, but if it's not available, I'll try to link some similar options, but it's great to just have a solid color staple dress that you can dress up or down. Next up is a travel essential. It doesn't matter where I go or what I do. I always end up packing this Longchamp Le Pliage tote bag. I love Longchamp's bags. I love their tote bags. These make such great travel bags and it actually is great that I brought this because what I ended up having to do, which I hate when I have to do this, but I had to last minute check my roller carry-on bag. It was crazy. When I when I got to the Philippines, we then took a domestic flight to my mom's and they're so much stricter with their weight requirements you know, with their carry on. And I ended up having to check some stuff. And luckily I had this in my carry on. So I just took this out, opened it up, and I was able to throw my valuables in here along with my backpack that I use as my carry on. So basically if you have to do last minute, you know, luggage rearrangement, you can always pack this as an extra tote bag and this could be an extra personal item 
or an additional carry-on that you can put in the overhead. We've also gone to the beach since we've been here. This is my beach bag. It's great because again, it is flat, it's huge, it's lightweight, it's waterproof. It zips completely closed, which I love because a lot of times beach bags are completely open and exposed, but you know, you don't want to get sand in your bag. So I love the Longchamp bag as a beach bag. We've been shopping and you know, here in the markets and a lot of stores, they don't, you know, you don't get bags. You don't have plastic bags. A lot of the smaller markets, there's no bag. You just buy it and then you go. So if we are in the market shopping, I just throw whatever I'm getting in my bag here. So this is definitely such an important piece to have on every trip. Another great travel essential is this coach wristlet. I love this little wristlet because when you are traveling, it is the perfect size to hold multiple passports. So if you're like me, you know, you're a mom, you have a couple of passports, your families, your kids, sometimes you are the passport holder, your tickets can go in here. It's such a perfect size. And then it has two card slots here. I have my son's passport card here. And this way you can keep your important ID, your, your credit cards up here, and then the rest of your stuff can just, you can throw in here easily and then zip it closed. Then once you are at your destination, I like to keep my passport, you know, like let's say you're traveling and there's a hotel with a safe, you can keep your passports there, but then you can use this as your just going out wallet without having to bring a huge purse with you. This is such a great travel piece. It is very discreet. Most of the time when I travel, I don't like to have huge logos visible. So this is just a very discreet little piece. It comes in a few other colors, but I just have the solid black with a little C logo. Here are some of the packing cubes that I brought. I have a couple sets of these. This is from CalPack. And I really like this lighter color. It comes in a bunch of other colors. I think right now they have brown and black. These are great because it comes, I think in a set of four or five. It has a top handle here, and then it has a little label, a clear label here. And then the back of the bigger ones have a zipper pocket. So I like to have a few of these on hand. I usually have a couple for myself. I have one for each of my kid, one for my husband. I think they have a set of shoe bags too. So these are just such a great item. And I like that it's got this clear little window view here, mesh netting. So it's great because it's very breathable and you can see through it. The way I pack this stuff is, so these are all my swimsuits right here, swimsuits and cover-ups. I have some other stuff tucked away in my bag, in my luggage. And then this one is where I keep my extra set of clothes for myself and for my son. I pack in our personal item bag an extra set of clothes for us just so that we can change during a long layover so we're not feeling gross. So yeah, packing cubes are great when you're traveling just to keep yourself organized. For my carry-on bag, I brought my trusty base. I love this thing because it has a weight indicator here on the side. I also have the large check-in version of this, so I brought both of them. They make such great bags. I love all the travel accessories. Okay, going back to swimsuits. So again, this is where I kept all my swimsuits and cover-ups. My favorite favorite swimsuit in my entire collection of swimsuits <laughs> has been this Versace uh, scoop back swimsuit. I love this. This is the most flattering swimsuit that I've ever tried on. Hey guys, sorry about that. My camera overheated, but this is my checked luggage, pretty much how it looked. I did empty it out a little bit because I brought some stuff for my mom, but this is the large base roller luggage. This is my favorite luggage to check because it has a weight indicator on the side. I also did bring the small carry-on roller luggage, but I just want to show you how I packed everything. So on the left side here, we have the flap and I always keep my name and address and number and contact info on a piece of paper in here in case it gets lost, but I do keep an air tag inside here. And then this, I just keep empty. You know, if I have some last minute stuff, I can throw it in there. Okay, so when you open it up here on the left, here I have my Longchamp Le Pliage expandable tote bag. And then this is my scuba stuff. So I have my snorkel, my fins, my mask. Here is just my toiletry bag on the left. And then I also have the Dyson Air Wrap. This is actually the older version. I do have the newer one, but just in case it gets lost. And then all my makeup is stored in the base cosmetic case. This color was limited edition, so I don't know if it's still available, but the case itself is actually newer and updated. It has like an adjustable side strap and it's available in their core colors, black and beige. And then on the right is where I keep all my other clothes. The one purse I did pack also is my Coach Cassie. This sells out pretty quickly. I did pick up the like ivory color from the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year. I think they have a newer version available, so I'll link that below, but I have it here in the oxblood color. And then again, all my clothes pretty much are in the CalPack packing cubes, my swimsuits and like 
active wear and stuff are in here. Speaking of active wear, these are my favorite pair of bike shorts. These are the Zella side pocket bike shorts. I get this every single year from Nordstrom in pretty much every color that it's available. They're just so handy to have. I think I actually brought two on this trip. One I kept in my packing cubes in my checked luggage, and then I keep a spare in my carry-on luggage in case I wanna change during my journey because again, it's such a long trip. And then once you get to the Philippines, it's very hot. So I always bring two of these, but these are great because you're able to keep your phone in the side pocket. And then tucked up here, I have a pair of shoes from Open Edit. And these are just like a very casual pair of mule slides. I really like the little hardware on there. And I love the color. I think it might be sold out in this color, but it is still available in black and I think blue. These are really nice and comfortable. I think I might actually pick these up in black. And then for jewelry, I actually might do a separate like carry-on video because I do keep my jewelry in my carry-on bag. But I have these two pieces here that I wear a lot. This tennis bracelet here on the left is actually from Swarovski and it just is so nice and sparkly and very affordable. And then the gold bangle is from Goryana. It's one of their newer designs and I really like it because it's very easy to put on. It's got a clasp right there. Very simple design, but again, I keep all my jewelry in my carry-on bag. So that's pretty much how I pack my check luggage. Again, I love this luggage in particular because this side zips completely closed. So in case your luggage does like spill open, this side won't explode because it's zipped in. And then on the right side, this side has this kind of a flat part. I like to keep my like travel documents and receipts and other stuff in this flat side so it doesn't get crumpled, then you have these straps to tighten on both sides. And then because I have everything in packing cubes, it just keeps everything so much more organized. But that is pretty much everything I packed in my check-in luggage, everything that I packed with me on my trip to the Philippines. But let me know what are your travel essentials, especially when you are traveling for an extended period of time, and especially to a tropical country where you are gonna be doing like water sports and stuff. So, so this is why I have this larger luggage because I needed to fit my fins in here. By the way, all the skincare and toiletries and makeup and everything, it's just too many for me to go through individually in this video. I will link everything that I packed below. Skincare, makeup, it's very important to me, especially if I'm traveling to like a very humid tropical country and I'm gonna be in the water. I always make sure that I maintain my skincare, hair care routine. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, pack with me video, everything that I packed with me on my trip. Let me know what are your travel essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.